The Overcomers Film Productions International is committed to producing evangelical movies for edification, reproof, for admonishing, enlightening, and preparing the saints for the kingdom of God. All our movies are available on Toy and Aso Fatusan's channel on YouTube to watch free of charge. You can support our evangelistic efforts of producing more movies among other activities of our ministries by making a donation on our website www.overcomersdramaeurope.com You can also sign up as a partner to support us from time to time. For more information, send us an email overcomers96 at gmail.com God bless you as you support. I would like you to lead and preach the sermon. You will have something else on that pulpit today. Put a title before my name. His messages are powerful. Imagine. It's not all those scary kind of messages. Yeah. Your grandfather's name was Chief Osawe Osagi. I've just finished packing the last two bags now. I will prepare a special anointing oil for you. The water you gave me last time, it worked. I'm here to recover. Let us pray. Indeed, I've realized I'm a woman in the wrong place. Don't tell me Prophet just asked you to change it. And they were really trying to suck her in. We don't allow any man to dominate us. We need to be careful. My wife and I have little or no information about that prophetess. Everybody has their style of ministration. Yes! She could minister for two days without opening the word of God. And the way she was calling out people and pushing them down. I've never seen such before in my life. Jesus. I was just saying that for the second time the day she came to our program. Dear, it was so great today. That woman is anointed. My name is Prophetess Victoria. Driving at. Why all these questions for me? Wrong marriage pattern. Or no marriage pattern at all. It's what is written about us. And who wrote it? Wife and two kids. Yes, wife and two kids. It's married. But it is only married men who are coming to us for my hand. Haven't you dated a married man before? You see, the word of God is relevant to every life situation. She's beautiful. Thank you. Love, what a vibe you don't like, can never 
understand you the whole one Jesus Christ the Lord bread of deceit bring so much sorrows bread of deceit never gives peace bread of deceit leads to a dead end you the whole one Christ the solid the solid rock Are you eating the bread of the sea? So sweet but to be to swallow What a vibe you don't like can never stand Christ the Lord, are you eating the bread of the sea? I'm not going to leave. No, I won't. But one of us will definitely live today. I can't share that the same roof with you again. A liar. Deceiver. Wicked soul! Get out of my sight before I do something silly. Hey! And pack your excess luggage as well. Sister Jane! I need nothing but the truth from you. Sorry I'm standing this way. Because what I know about you from the beginning cannot be held on to. Sister Jane, my husband has been speaking to your husband. But this time I want to hear the truth from you. Yes, ma'am. Why did you lie to your husband about your background? How can you deny your own children, Sister Jane? I didn't mean to deny my children. But a few years back, when I knew Williams, he categorically told me that he is not interested in women that have children before. And what made my own case worse is the fact that I have those children for different men. You mean you have those two children from different men in Nigeria? Yes, ma. Were you married to any of them? No. And you claim those children are your younger ones? Hello, Brother Williams. Thank God that you finally picked my call. Pastor, I know Jane is with you. And I don't want anyone to change my mind. You, you don't know how I'm feeling right now. Brother Williams, I may not know what, the way you are feeling, but I think you need to talk to somebody. You need somebody to talk to. You can talk to me. Not as your pastor, but as your friend. This is the height of deception I've ever seen in my life. Can you imagine Jane forcing another man's child on me? She was already deep pregnant with another man's child before we got married. When the baby arrived four weeks earlier than the due date, her explanation was that the baby arrived early. Can you imagine calling another man's child yours for over five years? Mm, terrible. Exactly. That is the way I'm feeling right now. And now am I sure that the second baby is mine? I need to request for a DNA test. Sister Jane, what about the second child you have with Brother William? Is he really the father? Yes, he is. You know, after that unfortunate incident that happened four weeks to our wedding, I did not go after any other man again. Sister Jane, 
Why did you deceive Brother Williams? Why didn't you tell him about your affair with the other man? I was afraid. Of what? I was desperate. My oh, God. I didn't want to have a tall child for him, man. That I'm not married to. Pastor Hester. The story of my life is such a mess. Hmm. While I was in secondary school in Nigeria, I followed some group of girls. They were dating our teachers in school. So I joined them. So I joined them. And I got involved with one of our teachers. The first time I got involved, I got pregnant. Mm. I have to stop schooling. I suffer to raise the child. And the second child, I had him for a man who promised to marry me after he sleep with me. That's why it's that. The moment I got pregnant, he fled. In fact, I don't know his whereabouts up until this day. Jesus. And when Brother William came, were you dating another man? Why didn't you tell him? The man promised to marry me. But immediately I got pregnant. He denied responsibility. Because he was aware that I was having a relationship with Brother Williams. But what he didn't know was that I was not sexually involved with Don Williams at all until we got married. I was too eager to marry Jane. I was deceived. Or let me say I deceived myself. I lied to you when I told you that Jane is the will of God for my life. I married her because of her Spanish nationality. Brother Williams, is that the reason why you turned Ugozi away? Jesus. I got the nationality, but look at the whole package of deception and lies I got with it. Now that the truth is out, so you both built your marriage on lies and deceit. The consequences is too grievous to handle, Sister Jane. Do you know what the Bible says in the book of Proverbs chapter 20 verse 17? It says the bread of deceit is sweet to a man or a woman. But afterward, his mouth shall be filled with gravel. Do you know what is gravel? Sand is in the mouth now. Oh God, help us. We just need your help. How do I get out of this mess? Ever since I have gotten to know the reality, I have not been the same. If I not be able to see my children too, I don't have enough money. You know, uh, this man has been troubling my life. Yes. Yeah. David father. He has been threatening me. He has been demanding for money. I've been sending money to him. He said if I don't send enough money to him, he will inform Willis that he is the real father of the... that he is the real father and not him. I'm fed up. The man is just making excessive demand. Yeah. 
for my time, Daniel. Mama, I know my children need money. Just give me time. Yes, let me, Daniel. How do you do? Give me time. Let me sort this one out first. Where do I go from here? A mother of four children for four different men. My life is messed up. This is what I'm trying to avoid. Huh? Now, Williams wants me and the children out of the house. For how long will I keep hanging out? For how long will I keep moving from one place to another? Hmm. Hmm. Laura. And she warned me. There's been something on my mind that I've wanted to discuss with you. Sister, for how long will you continue to hide from your husband regarding the children in Nigeria? Your husband is taking care of those children thinking they are your siblings. Hmm. I am now born again and now I know better. What you are doing is deception, lies and my core serious problem if your husband should get to know later. Laura, don't worry. He told me categorically that he does not want to have anything to do with a woman who already has children. Eh? So you know he won't get to know a thing. Don't you want me to be settled for once? Hmm. The Bible says in the book of Psalm 32 verse 1 that blessed is the man whose transgression is forgiven and whose sin is covered. Let the Lord cover you. Surrender your heart to him. Laura, you don't worry. Even God understand, eh? Even right now I'm in church. I'm in church for an activity. Someone is getting married in the church. So God understand, eh? Anyway, I'll take care of yourself, eh? My regard to your husband and your children. All right, sister. Bye for now. Give me And just a few weeks later, my greatest fear came to reality. Hello, sister Jane. My man just called me from Nigeria now. That your husband called and was angry on the phone. He overheard your conversation with Mama and you talking about the children and the plans you have for them. Your husband has been calling me as well, but I can't lie, so I did not pick the call. Hey, Laura, I'm in trouble. I'm in trouble. Be in trouble! Ha! Ah. I need help. I need help. Pastor Esther said... That Jane, the only person that can help you now is God. You need him now. And the Bible says in the book of John chapter 8 verse 44, it says that the devil is the father of all liars. And all liars, we find themselves or we have their place in the lake of fire. Now, it's time for you to come to God so that he will help you. Time for you to give God a place in your life. Accept his truth and your life begins to take shape. The book of Isaiah chapter 1 verse 18 tells us, it says, come, let's reason together, says the Lord. Though your sins are like scarlet, they shall be as white as snow. Though they are red like crimson, they shall be as wool. So, come. He's ready to give you a fresh start. Give him, open up to him. Open up to him. And I tell you, it's not going to be an easy thing, but you're going to end well. That's when I guarantee you. It's going to end well. So just open up to him and he's going to see you through. I need you now. I come before you. Have mercy upon me. Have mercy upon me. My life is in shambles. 
<laughs> Come and put my life together again. Jesus. Come into my life. Come into my heart. I need you. I need you. Pastor so Esther said that no matter how terrible my sins are, you can forgive me. Lord, forgive me. Forgive me. I want peace in my life. Please touch my husband's heart. I don't know where to go with four children. Have mercy, Lord. name we pray. Amen. We're going to pray for God's mercy upon Brother Williams and Sister Jane. Amen. That God will have mercy on them, that God will reestablish them, that they will find the truth Amen. of God's word. Amen. Let us pray. Father, in the, the name, name of Jesus, Jesus Lord, the God of all mercy, mercy. Baba, we pray for your mercy your tonight children. upon your children, Jesus, oh God. Your mercy, ah, your mercy oh God, God will bring them back on forward, oh God. In the mighty name of in Jesus, name we pray. Amen. We are going to also pray that this hour that God, that they will encounter. Good evening, Pastor Esther. Sister Jane, God bless you. And we are praying for you. We are praying for you. I'm still here at my friend's place. Yeah, with the children. You know, ever since uh, that incident occurred five months ago, I've been hanging out with you, you know, in my friend's place. I told you, it's not going to be an easy thing. The situation is still the same. Williams will not pick my call. Neither does he want to see me. In fact, he's not even asking after his own son. Ma, it's been five months. I don't know. It's going to come around. Don't worry. Hope you are reading the scriptures we gave to you. Yes. Don't worry, it's going to be fine. I told you now. You said so. I'm praying with all the scriptures. Please, please intensify your prayers. Yes. Staying in my friend's house is not the best for me. It's affecting the children as well. I have repented. And I've asked God for mercy. I just pray God will help me to touch her William's heart. I trust God. Eh? We are still praying for you. Daddy and I will pray for you. Eh? Okay, ma. Thank you, ma. All right. Well, I'll keep praying. Yes, ma. God bless you. Hello, Brother Williams. Good evening, Pastor. Thank you so much for your prayers and counseling for the past six months. Sir, I have made a decision after returning to God from my fallen state. The decision is in regard to... Go on, Brother Williams. It is about jeans. Our marriage was based on deceit. We both deceived each other, but now, having received Jesus as our Lord and Savior genuinely, we are starting afresh. We are starting on a new foundation of truth. No more hiding, no more lies. I want her to get married again. Your children are mine. I'm not marrying you for selfish gain, but because I love you. I love you too. 
I'm happy that we are forgiven each other and that we are moving on to greater heights. No more deceit. Only truth will be our watchword in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Hello. 